If you are looking for a sweet treat next weekend, look no further than Jonesboro because it is the second annual Scoop Fest. Melinda Kopp is joining us to talk about this fun event. Melinda, thanks for joining us in JJ's Eat Around downtown uh, Main Street in Jonesboro. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about Scoop Fest. Well, this is the second annual Scoop Fest that we're doing this year. We will have over 53 flavors of ice cream that will be spread out through downtown over 15 locations. Um, buy tickets in increments of 15 and it's ten dollars for a 15 pack and you'll pick up your tickets um, at the courthouse that day you order them online beforehand so mm -hmm. make sure you get them and then you'll have your tickets so you just go around downtown we'll have a map for you to show you where all the ice cream flavors are located so you'll go downtown taste them all get a little sweet treat we'll have some activities downtown as well so a lot of fun for the whole family it sounds like a lot of fun kind of to kick uh, off the new school year for a lot of the yes. kids and families in the area tell me a little bit about how the concept works so you said people can buy their tickets they order them online beforehand and then they come down and can just walk around, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have a website, jboscoopfest.com. Um, all the information is on there about the event and also a link where you can buy your tickets beforehand. And then you'll just come the day of, pick up your tickets in front of the courthouse and there will be a map of all the locations that are participating. So you'll go around, try all the flavors with your family and see what, see what you like, see what you don't like. There'll be a little bit of everything from your right. traditional flavors to some extraordinary flavors. <laughs> and then we also have some activities including face painting, We'll also have um, the McKinney Center Arts Center that will be doing some hands-on crafts with the kids. Um, the Jonesboro Elementary and Middle School will also be down here doing a book drive and book giveaway with children. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. And then we're going to talk next about the Extreme Banana Split Eating Contest that's going to be at 7. You know, I've heard so many great stories about the giant banana split and all the taste testings. And like you said, so many people can come try all different flavors. And what's so great, too, is that this is a community event. Clearly, the first year was such a success that you came back and you're doing it a second year, right? Absolutely. It's a great way to spread the love throughout all of downtown and get people in all the shops mm -hmm. to see what, what they carry. So we've had a lot of success with the events where they go into the shops and they get whatever treat it is they're looking for and they can see what that shop offers as well. Yeah. And we are in JJ's Eatery and joining us now is JJ and Paige and we are talking about some of the fun eating contests that you all are going to be hosting here at JJ's. JJ is joining us right now and JJ you're going to talk about these two bowls of delicious looking ice cream right? Yeah so on the really small one right there it has a half a scoop of vanilla, a half scoop of chocolate, a half scoop of strawberry, then chocolate syrup, then lots of lots of um, Cool Whip and Rainbow Sprinkles. Oh, wonderful. And then this right here. And so what's great is that these are kind of for different age groups, right? So this is the young ones. What is the age group for that? Um, 12 and under. 12 and under. Melinda, thanks for helping us out. And then this one is kind of the teen one. And then what's in here? Um, it has two scoops of vanilla, then two scoops of strawberry, and two scoops of vanilla, two whole bananas, four strawberries that's cut in half, and then a half a half can of cube pineapples, chocolate spirit, syrup, lots of Cool Whip, and rainbow sprinkles. Oh, it sounds delicious. And you guys are definitely going to be busy on Saturday for Scoop Fest. And now we're going to go over to Paige. And Paige, you are kind of in charge of doing the giant banana split. Tell me a little bit about what's in here. So far, this is what we have. It is very big. We have four scoops each of vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. And then what we do is we take four whole bananas and we put it all in here just like this and then we take eight strawberries and they're all cut in half so it's 16 diced fresh strawberries and we just put them all along the edges wow this looks delicious oh yeah and so this is a banana split eating, a giant banana split eating contest, right? Yes, ma'am. And so you've been making these for a while. Clearly, this is not your first rodeo making this <laughs> giant banana split. Do you find that people struggle to get through it? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's definitely um, something to put down. <laughs> so, <laughs> And you're going to have to share it with a lot of people, too, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so you finished putting the strawberries yes. on. Now what are you doing? And then we just put pineapple all in the center of it. And it's about half a can of just fresh pineapple with a little bit of juice, not too much juice. Mm -hmm. And we just put it all in there. 
That looks delicious. And this is definitely something to share. So how many can really maybe dig in, grab a spoon for this? Um, I would say a solid family of four. <laughs> okay. Yes, I would say that's probably uh, good for a family of four. Oh, yeah. So you basically you're finishing putting all the pineapple on, and then you're not done yet, right? Oh, no. We are oh, far no. <laughs> from done. Far from done. And then we take syrup chocolate syrup and we spread it all along that just like oh that cover gosh. it in the chocolate oh my god and gosh. then we do whipped cream everywhere and so this is part of scoop fest is a banana split eating contest tell me a little bit about why you guys decided to incorporate this well, we love eating competitions in Jonesboro. You know, they're a lot of fun. So with JJ's Extreme Sundays, we thought that this would be a fun way to do this. And we thought, you know, include all the different age groups and uh, just let everybody have at it. Yeah, exactly. And this looks delicious. So you are really covering this. Yeah. You're even using the rest of the can of the Ready yeah. Whip. And we're getting some more right now. Wow. And so you put basically a ton of Ready Whip on there. Look at that. That looks delicious. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Look at that. So people basically get bragging rights if they finish this, right? Melinda? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh my gosh. And so this is something that you sell on your menu normally. So if people don't want to uh, come and grab it during uh, Scoop Fest, they can just come and get off the menu, right? Yeah, sure. We're thinking about doing all kinds of different ones. <laughs> oh wow. Well, it looks delicious. And then how are you going to top it? With more chocolate syrup. More chocolate syrup. Gosh, people are going to be in a chocolate coma by the time. <laughs> I and then we do sprinkles. So I can't wait to see how people are going to eat this in the eating contest. So each person gets one. Is that how it's going to be? Yes. Well, like I say, we'll have three different age groups. We'll have 12 and under, a teenage group, and then an adult category. So these are the different sizes of the Sundays. And uh, yeah. Wow. So Paige, you outdid yourself. It looks you. delicious. Melinda, Paige. JJ, thank you all so much for showing us kind of a sneak peek into Scoop Fest. And if you want to buy tickets, you have to order them online, right? Yes, online. Go to jboscoopfest.com, and there's complete information on there and a link to buy tickets. It's going to be a great time here in Jonesboro. Thank you again, ladies. We so appreciate it.